Welcome back to the channel, fellas. Today, we're simulating Virginia Tech 2019-2020 college football season. What's going to happen for the Hokies? They start the year ranked. Will they end it ranked? Let's check it out. First game of the season, Virginia Tech's taken on an FCS team. B-plus overall. A minus offense, B plus defense. Kirk is rocking with the Hokies. Let's see if they can pull it out. I bet they can. Looking at the rest of the season, we see that FCS team, North Carolina State, Maryland, Old Dominion, Syracuse, number four ranked Miami, Georgia Tech, Pitt, Duke, UNC, Wake Forest, UVA, a very winnable schedule. Only one ranked team to start the year. Though I guess, you know, the ACC, you never know what's going to happen. But I bet the Hokies can pull it out. Let's check out this recruiting class. Virginia Tech whiffs on Eric Butler, a 79 overall defensive tackle. But they get Sam Jackson, a pretty decent receiver in his own right. They... They don't even get their least favorite target, Malcolm Smith. But Ed Robinson, 62 overall right tackle. Congratulations on the scholarship. Good luck on seeing the field. You never know. I mean, Virginia Tech developed some fine guys. Coach of the year finalist. Rush for 2,000 yards. Couple awards. Oh, my God. Look at all these awards. School records, 50 touchdowns. Five consecutive wins twice, and they make it to the conference championship. Guess who they're playing? They're playing Louisville. Number six, Virginia Tech, 11-1 versus number 15, Louisville, 10-2. Both go 9-1 in the conference. Virginia Tech is almost better in every single category. You got to think the Hokies can pull this out. I wouldn't be shocked. Kirk is rocking with the Hokies. Let's check out what happened on this schedule real quick. They won five in a row they lost to miami who only goes eight and four on the year but they lost pretty significantly then they beat pretty much everyone else in the conference and now they're playing the only other hard team on their schedule so i'm actually starting to doubt whether the Hokies will be able to pull this out but what happened in the rest of college football let's check out the standings in the acc what happened virginia tech 11 and 1 9 and 1 in conference the rest of the ACC, eh, pretty me mediocre. Clemson goes 9-3. Miami and Florida State go 8-4, and, and everyone else kind of sucked. So kind of what you expect, but Louisville actually on top, just the top of the rankings there, but pretty interesting. To the top 25, Ohio State 12-0, Alabama 12-0, both receiving first place votes. USC, Washington, and Georgia all 11-1, sitting with Virginia Tech and Kansas State. Actually, all of them at 11 to 1. And you got Michigan, Oregon, and UCLA at 9 and 3 to round out the top 10. So it's a kind of top heavy year where, oh, we got Tulsa and Houston and Louisville at 10 and 2 there. Okay, so we got some 10 and 2 teams, just not in the top 10. Penn State rounding out the top 25. You see UCF, Memphis, San Diego, ULM. You don't see them very often. Pretty interesting way this cookie crumbles, I guess. But you have Ohio State number one overall, Alabama. Look at these games, Iowa, Georgia, Washington, USC, Alabama. Like, that's a lot of firepower. And then you got Virginia Tech down here with number 15, Louisville. You got to think someone's going to lose ahead of them. But you, you probably aren't going to make it to the national championship if you're Virginia Tech. Let's check out what happened this year. Also, let's check out the Heisman just real quick for fun. Typically, we see it afterwards. Jacobs, Harrion, Pass, Freeman, and Haskins Jr. Pass from Louisville and Freeman from SMU. Jacobs wins the Heisman from Alabama over 1,200 yards on the ground, 17 touchdowns, almost 500 yards receiving, eight receiving touchdowns. So 25 touchdowns, a really good year for this running back. Josh Jacobs from Alabama, congratulations on your Heisman. Too bad you left for the NFL this year. You could have won a Heisman. Virginia Tech will play USC 11-2, 8-2 in conference. Number 7, the Trojans in the Orange Bowl. Virginia Tech ends the year 12-1, 10-1 in conference, beating Louisville. And number 4 overall. USC is better in their ratings, but Virginia Tech much better in the rest of 
what we see here. Points per game, offense, defense. Literally the only thing USC is good at is rush defense, apparently. Well, I guess their their defense is pretty good because of the rush defense. But number two rush defense, Virginia Tech's going to have a hard time. Let's check out what's happening here. We see Virginia Tech at USC, National Championship, Ohio State, Alabama. Kind of like we thought, both 13-0, both A-plus everything. Pretty evenly split. Alabama has the number four rush defense, number five rush offense, number five rush or a number five offense overall. And Virginia Tech sets a couple school records here. Josh Jackson, congratulations on your outstanding year. Two school, three school records for Josh Jackson. Two single season, one a career. Hazleton, 117 receptions this season, breaking his own record from last year. And then, of course, with that many receptions, you're breaking the career records as well. 1,800 yards in his career. That guy is freaking great, actually. 2,900 yards in his career. Wow, this guy, 15 touchdowns. He's killing the game, setting the records. 24 in his career. Virginia Tech loses to USC, who ends up number two, by the way. Zero, zero points scored in the first quarter. Halftime, 14 to seven. And then Virginia Tech loses the rest of the way. Oh my God, that's gotta be gut-wrenching. You see, some pretty good offense here. Only 334 yards for Virginia Tech. Over almost, well, I'm getting closer to 400 for USC. The rushing game for USC was dominant. And Virginia Tech passed the ball better, but I don't know. You see a, a one for one on fourth down there for USC. Red zone, West Virginia, or I'm sorry, Virginia Tech only 50%. Time of possession to USC, but when you run the ball like that, obviously you're going to win the time of possession. Congrats to USC. Sucks, but I think most Hokie fans would take a 12 and 2 Virginia Tech. Alabama beats Ohio State in the national championship. Let's check out what happened just for giggles. 40 to 24, 10 0 Bama. It's 23 to 10 at halftime, and Alabama just outlasts Ohio State the rest of the way, actually outscoring them by three, but Ohio State doesn't score till the second quarter. So, you know, Alabama, their defense always pretty freaking solid. You get that with a with a top rush offense and boom you see josh jackson back to virginia tech 3300 yards almost 3400 yards mcleese over a thousand rushing yards 72nd best in the country though hazelton 1800 yards in a year this guy is on fire number one in the country you love to see it hollyfield 33 tackles and eh. proctor 9.5 sacks Fifth best in the country. That defense was moving and grooving. Farley, five interceptions on the year. And of course, NCA kicking leader, Johnson, 52 top field goal. 19th best in the country. You're going to win if you have a good kicker. If you stuck around this long, thank you. I appreciate you. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Peace.